Hi everyone, I'm Michael. And I'm Patrick, and you're watching another episode of Star Wars News and Views. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different, but, you know, somewhat related to Star Wars. We're talking about Indiana Jones 5. Wow. Yeah. I guess, you know, Indiana Jones has always been closely related to Star Wars, but with George yeah. Lucas working on it. And being Harrison friend, Ford. Harrison Ford, yeah. and being friends with uh, Spielberg, and them kind of working together and collaborating and writing it and everything. Yeah. So, um, it's a little bit different, but... We're going to run out of Harrison Ford news eventually, so we might as well be talking yeah, about Indiana Jones 5. He's for probably bit. not coming back to Star Wars, yeah. so this is going to be the last time you might hear anything about him. Yeah. Um, so, right now, they're in very early on in the game, but uh, they have confirmed it's going to be, I think, 2019 is what they're aiming for. Mm -hmm. um, so, Spielberg is working on the script, the screenplay, with David Coip, yeah. who wrote um, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which I know... You know, that movie has a lot of detractors. Yeah. Here's the difference, though. It looks like George Lucas has no involvement in this. <laughs> not, not to hate on George Lucas, yeah. but he's kind of the reason why Crystal Skull largely turned out, like, the whole idea of aliens. He was really pushing that. In. Intergalactic beings. <clears throat> yeah, Spielberg, beings, Spielberg so. didn't want to do it, and he's finally, he's like, I got it. They're interdimensional beings. Yeah. It's like, okay, what do they look like? Well, they look like aliens. They have a flying saucer. Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny, coming from Spielberg, the, you know, like, founder of alien movies, pretty much, right? Like, like E.T. Like, and Close Encounters. Yeah, and he's the one who didn't want to do it, but, you know. Yeah. Um, so, we have no idea what the story is going to be. No. Um, Harrison Ford was interviewed by the BBC recently, and he's like, yeah, we, we don't have a screenplay yet, but the idea that we have, like, the concept for the movie, yeah. is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, no word yet about whether or not Shia LaBeouf is going to make a return. I don't really have a problem if he does. I mean, like, you know, I, I don't think he was terrible, but... It, I mean, it was more the writing than his performance, yeah. really. I mean... He's it, kind of become a meme now, so it's like, yeah. it'd be kind of funny just in that sense to have him back. But they might even want to shy away from him because of that. I'm not really sure, but... Well, I mean, he had a pretty... Like, at the end of Indiana Jones 4, he's married. He's his wife for the son. So, yeah. like, you'd kind of expect to see them a little bit. So, I guess now it's been... By the time the movie comes out, it will have been 10 years since Crystal Skull was released. So I wonder, in the timeline, is it going to be like in the mid-60s now? Yeah. And they usually try to tie in the uh, the era, era yeah. with the content, right? Yeah. So I don't know what they would do for 60s. Like, was he taking psychedelics? <laughs> 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 or who the bad... I guess you could still have the Russians, you know. Right, like floral, like... Yeah. <laughs> Indiana Jones goes to Woodstock. <laughs> He's got a mustache like a dude. <laughs> uh, and Shia LaBeouf would definitely be right beside him. Yeah. Um, so I guess that's all we have to go on now. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, George Lucas is never mentioned in any of these reports or any of these interviews. And I guess he actually is retired, not just from Star Wars, but yeah. from more or less everything. Maybe blockbuster movies in general, right? Yeah. yeah. So... Uh, good for him. He's enjoying his retirement with all of his billions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, like watching Star Wars. Watching over Star again. Wars on his yacht. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I guess we yeah we don't really know anything else other than it's happening. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious what everyone in the comments are going to leave in terms of speculation about the plot or you know characters that might be in it. Yeah, if you want to, if you want us to keep talking about it too, let us know. We'll bring up some more news about this. It's kind of fun. Yeah, I hope we see like a forty-five-year-old short round. <laughs> that make a cameo. Yeah. I guess the only thing is like Harrison Ford is so old now. Like he was old in Crystal Skull. Yeah. But they kind of got away with it, but now it's been another decade. He's like seventy-three. Yeah. He'll be like seventy-five when they go to the camera. Like. How much is he capable of doing? Like, is how, it gonna, how believable is it going to be? That's what like I mean. Old guy is like running around, you know, with and, a whip. <laughs> yeah, and it's not like, oh, he's sixty-three. That's old. Like, you know, to someone in their twenties, that's old. But like, no, like seventy-five is like full-on grandpa. Yeah, <laughs> like he's been retired for ten years at this point. If he was in a working force. So. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Leave us your feedback about speculation you have about plot or returning characters, and uh, we'll see you next episode. Indiana Jones Five. And uh, we'll see you next episode. Whoa. That was really awkward. I know. I grabbed the buckle part. Wait, wait, do it again. And uh, we'll see you next episode. Indiana Jones 5. <laughs> I, you made the sound effect, even though I'll add it. <laughs>